The 2014 GE test, GED test is a challenge. There's no way around it. But I am excited to be working on these new subject matters and, and new ways to test the same information. So again, just remember, math is still math. But we are going to have to add some new things to our arsenal. We've always talked about percents, uh, fractions, ratio proportions, and basic shape measurement. But now we are going to be tackling algebra together. And algebra has been the Achilles heel for many students uh, when it comes to math. But we're going to attack it uh, this year. So are you ready for algebra? Can you find the slope of a line? We're going to talk about the formula for finding the slope of a line. And the slope is simply a measure of the steepness of a line between two points. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Okay, so now we have two points. We have negative two and two. And so the first point is always x and the second point is y. So we have negative two and two. So this is positive x and this is positive y. This is negative x and this is negative y. So we're gonna go over here negative 2, 1, 2, negative 2, and then up positive 2, 1, 2 on the y-axis. And that is how we graph those points. And then the second point is uh, 4, negative 2. So we're going to come over here on positive x, 1, 2, 3, 4, and down 1, 2 on the negative y, and we have our two points. And so now, the question that you could face on the GED test will be is you need to find the slope of this line. Well, there is a formula to help you find the slope of a line. And that formula is <clears throat> Okay? So the formula is, and this is, can be rise over run. And on further lessons, we can give more explanation about this, but we're just working on this one problem. So we are looking for the slope of this line here. So here's a line between these two points, and we're looking for the slope. Now we're going to take y2 and, my, and subtract that from y1. So we're going to take a negative 2. And we're going to subtract that, so, so that's uh, uh, right here, y2, and then y1 minus a 2. So we're just plugging in numbers in this formula here. And then we're going to take x2, 4, minus, just plugging in numbers here, a minus 2. Okay? So... If you get the Get Your GED Now Test Preparation Series package, you'll get this algebra lesson and you'll learn about integers, where you can turn this minus into a positive and turn that number into a negative. So negative 2 plus negative 2 will give you negative 4. And then you could get change this to a positive, and then this would change the charge of this number. I'm not going to explain that right now. You can get the program and, and learn more about that. But then that changes that to uh positive 2, so uh, uh, positive 6. So I said, mentioned something called rise over run. So what we're going to do, this is actually not a rise in this case because it's negative and it's called a fall. Again, that is explained more in the program. But we're going to go down negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And that point is there. And then over 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six. <clears throat> so that line falls minus four and runs six. And that is how you find the slope of a line. And then we can go ahead and simplify that, reducing that down to two, three. And this would be the slope of your line. 
Now, you're going to see that as a math skill, but then you're also going to see that as a word problem. So let me give you a word problem here if you look on the screen. A high school basketball team played five home games during their season. The graph shows the attendance for home games. Describe the rates of change in attendance between home game three and home game five. So you have that chart there. And you have one, two, three, four, five home games, and you that's a hundred attendance, and that's two hundred attendance. Okay? And you have your different points here. Um, that one's just a little bit under 100, and then it went down for the home game twos, and then it went up for home game three, and then it went up for home game four, and then it went up for home game five. And so you have those numbers there for the points. And so again, what we're doing is we're taking the concept of the slope, and now it's being tested in, uh, that concept is being tested in something called the rate of change. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these points. So this is home game three and home game five. And so that's three because it's three home game, the third home game, and it's 148 in attendance. And I'm just going to do five for the fifth home game. And that's 232 in attendance. So still using that concept of rise over run, what we're going to do is do 232 uh, that point, you know, because we, we're talking, remember uh, uh, y2 and y1 and x2 and, uh, and, and x1, so we're going to take 232 uh, minus 138. Sorry, I said 48 earlier, it's actually 38. And then we're going to subtract uh, uh, x, uh, x2 minus x1. Or, or, or 5 minus 3, and so we're going to get 2, and that's going to give us 94, I'm sorry, kind of bumping in, run out of space here on the board, 94 divided by 2 is 47, so 47 would give us the answer of the question, what is the rate of change between these two games, the game, the rate of change between these two games is 47 in attendance, so again, you have your your, your skill, which is the slope. Can you do the slope? And then you have your word problem, how you're going to see it likely on the GED test is in a word problem form. So here's the formula for slope. You put in y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1. That's rise over run. If it's negative, it's fall over run. And we can talk more about that in the package. Um, and then you, have, you plug in your numbers. So you take these points and plug them in there. And then you get your, 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 your fall in this case. One, two, three, four, and your run one, two, three, four, five, six over here, and that shows you the slope of your line is negative two thirds. Now, we're going to go more in depth in this as we move through in the future, but again, an example of what you're going to be facing on the new 2014 test. www.mygedlive.com is where you can get the information on how to have success with these kinds of problems. Thank you.